So this video is the continuation of our orthoptic series that I started where the first video was on negative relative accommodation. So today I am going to discuss on positive relative accommodation test. So what is positive relative accommodation test? So here in this test we actually check how much amount of accommodation can be exerted by the patient. What is the maximum uh, amount of accommodation can a patient exert okay so this test is very much helpful to diagnose or to find out whether the patient is having accommodative excess or accommodative uh, insufficiency okay so before proceeding or before starting the test you should give the patient their bcva that is best corrected visual equity then after putting the bcva uh, over the patient trial frame and then uh, give the patient near reading target and instruct the patient to see the N8 letter at about 40 centimeter distance and try uh, and uh, you start putting minus lenses here okay here we use minus lenses in minus 0 0.50 adapter steps so put these minus lenses in minus 0 0.50 adapter steps binocularly and tell the patient to clear the near reading chart okay and continue putting the mi uh, minus lenses and you will find uh, that at a specific point the patient will say that he is not able to clear the uh, image properly then instruct the patient to blink once and then see again and then also if the patient is not able to clear the near target then that point or that stage is called as first sustained blur okay so here after putting the minus lenses the light trees are uh, focusing focus is actually shifted backward right so that's why we are making the patient hypermetropic now light trees are focusing behind the retina so the patient will induce his accommodation to make the focus on the retina so the patient need to induce his accommodation so this is the main purpose of doing positive relative accommodation test where we actually make the patient to induce his accommodation to see how much total amount of accommodation can be exerted by the patient okay so here the expected value is actually minus 2.50 to minus 3 okay so, but there is not that much uh, normal range of pra value but if it is more than minus 3 it indicate the patient is inducing accommodation more than normal which is telling that the patient is actually having accommodative access and if the pra value is less than minus 2.5 it is actually indicating the patient is actually having accommodative insufficiency okay so if you put minus lenses uh, it make the uh, accommodation active right because you are putting the minus lenses so it is moving the focus behind the retina so patient is actually inducing his accommodation to make the focus on the retina but you also remember this thing that accommodation and convergence are interrelated with each other so as you are putting minus lenses patient is inducing his accommodation it is also in uh, leading to accommodative convergence right you heard about the uh, triad near triad is accommodation convergence and meiosis right so accommodation convergence is there so to cope up with accommodative convergence negative uh, fusional vergence also active so it is also so this is why uh, this pra value is also an indirect way to measure the nfv that is negative fusional vergence or divergence okay so that's all friends thank you for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel